Hello all. Um, please indulge me to talk a little bit about me today. It's going to be a little bit more personal. See, I've just been 40, uh, which is considered to be the beginning of middle age. Uh, so I did a little bit of soul searching, uh, and some of it might be helpful for you. I first joined out systems in 2001, so 16 years ago. So I spent almost 40% of my life thinking about the place of out systems in the world. But let's get back to the past, even further, um, back to when I was a kid, back to my grandfather. He was a teacher, an engineer, and an inventor. 30 years ago, he created an electric car, and he said electric cars would be the future. He was also the owner of an electrical cable factory, so, and he used to rave about optical fiber. He said it would be the future also, that you connect everything and everyone. He died in 1989, one year before the first web browser was built. So when I was not hanging around my grandfather, I was playing with Legos uh, and with computers. Um, I dropped out of university and started working uh, on my own. I used to say that I was a self-taught developer. But that was a lie. You're never really self-taught. There's always something that teaches you. In my case, it was this computer over here. It had 48 kilobytes of RAM. It had a programming language on the keyboard. So after around two years of working in different companies, I applied to a little startup that didn't even have a website. I did not know anything about it. al interviewed me and asked me about UML, Unified Modeling Language, those diagrams that, use, that are used to explain object-oriented languages. I started enthusiastically saying that UML was all wrong, that code and diagrams should actually be the same, that everything should be uh, visual. So I wanted to work in something similar to Out Systems, even before I knew what Out Systems was all about. Now, as I said, Out Systems is a big part of my life. So I started to think, why the hell do I like it so much? So let me share my personal view. So first, it stayed with me that uh, in 2003, uh, when my first wife died, uh, the guys showed up at a funeral. You could say that it's common human decency, uh, and you'd be right. But that's the thing. Out Systems have shown this over and over again. It cares for its employees, and it cares for society, like we've seen recently with the episode of Dragon Grand. So we are decent people here. And we are crazy people. Freedom and creativity mean a lot to me. And I love to work on a company where I can always ask why. And where I can also ask why not and try out ideas that might seem stupid. A lot of them made it to the product, and now they don't feel as stupid as anymore. Another thing uh, that also helps creativity is constant change. My father systems is a roller coaster. For example, I was the first product manager here, and I really messed up. Uh, I was froze, I was paralyzed. But I was given a second opportunity, and you will always be given more opportunities if you work passionately and if you're not afraid of change. Speaking about opportunities, here we have the rare opportunity to work in pretty advanced stuff. Where else can you work on an IDE? Where else can you work on a compiler? Where else can you work on a programming language? This is freaking cool, hard work. And it's also hard because we're working on a platform that supports hundreds of products and thousands of projects, and our decisions affect all those. So we need to think long term. We have higher level problems. Most of the times there's no perfect solution, but we need to find the best compromises. And we do that. We create an amazing thing that improves the daily lives of millions of people. If you can do that, it's because of you. If you are here today, it's because you're a decent human being, as I've said before. It's because you have a lot of energy, and because you're really, really smart. And I'm a guy that uh, tends to think aloud, so it's really cool to have someone on the other side that understands my confusing broken sentences, that completes them, and, bring, and builds upon them with even better ideas. And it's not just work, right? It's fun also. Uh, there's a cool vibe in here. People have a sense of humor. There's a snooker table, the ping ball table. There's, sometimes there's free beer. Nothing beats free beer, right? Maybe just one thing. Unconditional love. The unconditional love from our customers. So maybe tattoo our company logo on their arms. Tattoo is forever, man. Unconditional love. So just to recap, here are some of the stuff that uh, makes me like to work here. You know what? I love all these, but this is not what drives me. 
So what drives me? Uh, let me try to explain to you with a little challenge. Imagine that if you had to choose between working with this team here, um, but in a completely different product, or, uh, or with a different team, but with, uh, with our systems platform, what would you choose? I'm not going to uh, ask you to share your answer, so you don't need to be politically correct, but think about it. What would you choose? I'm going to share my choice. Uh, and I think there's no easy way or polite way to say this. Uh, I love you guys. But I'd continue to work with the platform with a group of complete strangers. So why is this? Why do I love this product or better yet, the problem we're addressing so much? And to do that, let's do a question that companies can do to understand their mission in the world. Let's ask what do we want our users to become. And I'm going to focus on daily direct users. So I'm not going to focus on buyers. I'm not going to focus on the users of the end application, direct daily users of the platform. So it's a simplification. As is this, this is what we say in our website about us. Let me share you my simplistic personal view. I think our systems make development faster for existing developers. It makes it possible for everyone else. There's two sentences here. Let's go to each one at the, at the time. So we make development faster for existing developers. We turn developers into faster developers. And that's something that we really get. Development is very, very slow. It changes just too hard. Think about the project you're working on now. Would you like it to be a little bit faster? Think about all the previous projects you've worked before. So we have this in our hearts. Uh, that's why we love to work in something that fixes this problem. And we're doing that. So this is the history of the developer. These four lines above here are his life before uh, he started using the OutSystems platform. And this is after he started using the OutSystems platform. You can see the difference, right? And this is the duration of some of the projects we, we, we do with with the platform. It's completely different from everything else. So we make development faster, you, and you can bet we're damn proud of it. Now, the second part, we make, we help people become developers. So we turn non-developers into developers. I confess I don't like the term citizen developer. I've never heard anyone say, I'm a citizen developer, and frankly, it sounds a little bit paternalistic to me. But we turn non-developers into developers. So what do these non-developers have? So they have these amazing computers on the right that uh, uh, allow you to do all those obsolete things on the left. So computers are like these Swiss Army knife tools that allow you to do anything. And in a couple of years, everyone in the world will have one. But if you look closely, most people still use computers as a more efficient way of doing this. So writing a little bit of text, so doing a little bit of math. And as for smartphones, you can stay all day rambling following the news, following the lives of others, like if it was a, a soap opera, while they're bombarded by ads. Does it remind you of anything? We developers know that this could be different. We know the real power of computers. We know that the real Swiss Army knife is the programming language. But we're still in the dark ages of programming languages. I have a friend that always comes to me with ideas for new apps. Some sound stupid, some sound brilliant, but I always feel like a monk before the printed press. Only I can read and write. That tells us that when we make the power of a programming language available to anyone, when anyone can unleash their creativity, humanity will give a huge step forward. Can I just be carried away by the fact I've learned to program by myself, by seeing the world through the narrow lenses of my own experience? I've investigated a bit, and it turns out that according to Stack Overflow, most people do learn languages by themselves. And opportunities will appear everywhere. You see, the world is turning digital, and there's just not enough developers in the world to make this happen. That's why there are companies like IT Up that convert groups of people of different backgrounds into our systems developers in three months. 
I don't know Joana Moraes over here, but I've met uh, Ana Rita Saita at uh, uh, this course. Uh, and she was a chemical engineer last year, uh, and now she's a developer. She was, when I met her, she was working on a project called Trusted Advisor that actually helps other developers create better apps. There's this other company, Truin, that does the same. I've met Nuno Lopes. Last year, he was a, an economist. And this year, he was working on the demo team, creating amazing demos for our future customers. We improved the lives of existing developers by making it faster. But here, it's completely different. We're completely transforming the lives of these people. So we're starting to prove that this is possible, still allowing anyone in the world to use the superpowers of programming languages might sound like a crazy dream. You know what? I hope I sound just as crazy as my, as my grandfather when he talked about optical fiber or when he talked about electric cars. So I guess what I wanted to share with you today is something that you already know deep down inside you. That we're working on something a lot bigger than ourselves. That we are changing the world. That we are crafting its future. I hope that you continue to have the courage and the determination to make this dream come true. Thank you very much.